Hey, this is Zipper Designs for Noble Desktop, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a quick liquid fill effect in Adobe After Effects. We're going to be making um, these boxes here that cover up uh, these, this text over here, and we're going to be applying a wave warp effect to them, and that's going to become the track mat for both our boba tea and the text. That way, it'll look like those layers are filling up with liquid, as you can see over here. Uh, that's what the project looks like when we're done. And um, this liquid fill effect is just, it's a great and quick way to have your objects transition smoothly, especially if your project revolves around a liquid of some kind. You know, a drink, uh, water, you know, whatever you can think of. And as you can see, this works on text and images alike. It'll even uh, work on photos and video, so it's got great range as well as an effect. For external assets, we'll just be using the logo here. It's all set up already in this file, and you'll be able to find that in the video description below. So let's get started. So to start with, we're going to be double clicking inside this purple layer over here. That's the pre-comp that uh, we're going to be working with. And as you can see, it's not quite finished. You know, the cup animates in, but everything else is just kind of standing there. So that's where our liquid fill is going to come in. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is making um, two shape layers. Let's head up to layer, new shape layer, please. Thank you very much. And let's draw a rectangle wide enough to cover the T. In fact, let's make it nearly almost as wide as the whole composition. You'll see why in a moment. And the color doesn't matter. It just has to be a rectangle. And the reason being is that this is going to be the track mat um, that will hide the layer when we turn on that effect. So let's head over to wave. Uh, sorry, let's head over to our effects and presets over here and type in wave warp. There we go. You can click and drag that to get that onto our new shape layer. And let's explain the different settings over here. So wave height and wave width uh, is pretty self-explanatory. You know, how tall um, are the waves? How wide are the waves? Sine, square, triangle, that affects like the shapes. We want a pretty basic sine wave over here. And the speed is how fast is this wave going to be moving along? As you can see, when we uh, scrub through the timeline, it's moving along. Um, we also have a phase. So a phase in this particular context refers to a position on the wave itself. Um, like a period of a wave when it repeats. Um, and so when we change the phase, we're basically telling it, like, keep moving along, keep moving along, keep moving along. And we're asking it to start or end at a certain um, location on its uh, phase. Okay, so we reset that. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. So let's get started with uh, turning this into a liquid fill. So for this layer, let's change the height to 20 and let's put that width at 300. Now, these are my settings. You don't have to follow them exactly, but this is the general look that we're going for. And the wave speed, let's put that at three. So let's, we're going to be making a duplicate of this rectangle. I'm going to hit um, Command D or Control D to duplicate this shape layer. And let's give them different names. So the first one, I want to name it. I'm hitting, um, I'm selecting my layer, hitting enter or return to rename it. I'm going to be calling this liquid fill. And the second one, I'm going to be calling it liquid bubble drink. Because these guys are going to be hiding two different layers. So I want to be able to label them appropriately. And also to know that they are track mats, I'm going to make them both yellow. I like color coding my uh, layers so I can tell what they are at a glance. And since they are track mats, these guys have to go above the respective layers. So liquid bubble drink is going to be right above the bubble drink layer and liquid fill is going to be above the liquid layer. There we go. So since liquid bubble drink is a duplicate of the first layer, let's change the setting slightly on this thing. Mm, I want to keep the way the width and the height. So I'm just going to change the speed, I think to five, make it go a little faster, and phase, let, let's put that at 45 degrees at a phase, so just a slightly different look to it, but I do want to keep the dimensions more or less the same. So now it's time for animation. I'm going to hide liquid fill for now, so I can just focus on uh, liquid bubble drink. I'm going to, with that layer selected, I'm going to hit P for position. And again, I know that it looks like there's a big block of blue over our uh, image over here, but once we turn on track mats, that's not going to be an issue. So with the playhead of the origin, let's see, let's move in about 15 frames. So at 15 frames in, I'm going to hit the stopwatch to set a keyframe. And let's see, I want to drag this guy all the way down. So he's 
So I put my position over here at about 1,000, 2095 to start with. And then about a second and 18 frames in, let's get that position back at maybe like 1520. And as you can see, it's covering the text over here. I'm going to select both keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. That's going to give more of an organic feel to this animation. Then let's do the other rectangle. So I'm going to put my play at about 22 uh, frames in. I'm going to grab my other liquid fill, my other uh, track mat layer. I'm going to hit P for position like before. Hit that stopwatch to set a keyframe. And over here I want its uh, location to be about 1000 and then 1520 as well. Basically the idea is to have it like drag right below, you know, this image that we want to hide because it's going to have to slide up. Then move your playhead over to two seconds in. And now the location is like at 1000, 1000. So like before, remember to easy ease those keyframes so they have a nice organic feel to them. Okay, and now the track mats. So if you don't see uh, track mats, hit toggle switches and modes so they're visible. And then liquid fill, that's that track mat. Liquid uh, bubble drink, hit that track mat. And then we want to activate alpha mat on liquid. And we want to activate alpha mat on bubble drink. So they know where to take their alpha mats from, the track mats from. And in scrubbing through, I noticed that um, the mat for the drink itself is um, a little bit too high. You can see it over here. So let's actually pull that thing down a little more um than we did before there we go that should be it all right this is what it looks like um remember to turn on the visibility on the, the graphics that you want to show but leave the track mats uh, invisible as they are that's just how they work and yeah that's how the liquid fill animation works so you can use this to fill up text character by character or you can do wine glasses pools even as a screen wipe you can even layer it with other shapes to create some pretty cool transition effects as well so yeah, let us know if you have any comments or questions below. We'd love to hear what you're working on right now or if you have any topics you'd like us to cover. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a liquid fill effect in After Effects. This has been Safari Designs from Noble Desktop.